Hey, what's going on guys? Jake the Happy Snake here and welcome back to Jake Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yesterday I won $10,000. I finally won something and it only took three days. And that brought my overall total to $14,958,081. So I am within striking distance of the $15 million mark. And today's Friday. So it would be fantastic to end the week off by hitting the $15 million mark. That would be a huge milestone. Not to mention that this is the double money episode that I do every 75 episodes. So the entire money tree is doubled. And I'm going to show you guys what that looks like right now. So this is the first time that I'll be doing a double money episode in the phone version of Millionaire, or at least the third party version. So yeah, the money values are odd, I guess you could say, like, you know, 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, 6,000, like, look, there's 20,000, 30,000, 200,000, you know what I mean? It's, it, you know, there are some we weird amounts, but uh, yeah, the top prize is $2 million, so I'm hoping that I can win that, that would be great, but if I can win at least 50,000, that would be, that'd be great too, because then I would hit the $15 million mark today, so I'm going to do everything in my power to make that happen, so... It's time to switch on over to the phone right now. All right, here we go. First question for $1,000 rather than the normal 500 What object is associated as a means of transportation for a witch? Broomstick. That's what Gruntilda the witch always uses in Banjo-Kazooie. Okay, for $2,000, which mouse does Tom chase in the famous cartoons? Jerry. All right. Here we go now for 4,000. Which is not one of the four shapes on a PlayStation controller? I believe that would be Star. I haven't used a PlayStation controller in years, but I was pretty confident with that. Okay, next question is for $6,000. What is placed on the back of a horse to make it ride easier? Uh, saddle. I mean, cowboy seat might make sense, but anyways, okay, here we go now for $10,000. This is the first guaranteed level of the game. Which country was not included in the First World War? I'm not good with history. I want to say China, so we're going to go with China. Yes, okay. $10,000 guaranteed. I got all the lifelines. So that's good. Um. Okay, sorry about that random cut. Um. Believe me, I did not look at the answer, but I think it's... The amount of stars that are on the flag have to do with the state. So I'm going to go 50. Yes! Okay, $15,000. Good, we got all the lifelines. For 20000 what soft drink brand was the first to use Santa Claus in advertising? How am I supposed to know this? Phone a friend. I don't know. Hi, it's B. Coca-Cola. Okay. See, I don't drink pop, although actually Kool-Aid and Gatorade and up. Consider pop. Anyways, okay, we got twenty thousand dollars. The next question is for twenty five thousand. Not guaranteed. What U.S. president appears at the front of the five dollar bill? I have a five dollar American bill, but I have no idea. Lincoln's on the twenty. I don't know what the other guys look like. So we're gonna switch the question because I don't know. The planet from the sun. That's pretty easy, unless it's a trick question, but I think it's Jupiter. Yes! Okay, this is actually good. The last Double Money episode was not good at all. Um, here we go now for $30,000. Who wrote the Pulitzer Prize winning novel, The Grapes of Wrath? I should know this, but I don't. Ask the audience. Steinbeck. Okay, guys. We're going for 50 thousand dollars it's guaranteed i'm gonna do something really risky how many ghosts visit scrooge in a christmas carol i'm gonna 50 50 let's not have a repeat of episode 161 please if i get this right then i will be guaranteed fifty thousand dollars and i will officially have it hit the 15 million dollar mark i'm gonna go for final answer yes ah Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. $50,000, and that is guaranteed. Five questions away from $2 million. This next question is for $100,000. Which U.S. city is the John Hancock Center located? 
I'm gonna guess and say Cleveland, because I really have no idea. Ah, Chicago. But you know what? Fifty thousand dollars. I mean, it's no. Keep in mind, it's doubled. So that would normally be fifty thousand. But anyways, that is fantastic. Okay, so I did exactly what I wanted to do. I won $50,000. I mean, I would have preferred to win more, of course, but I mean, $50,000 just barely put me over the $15 million mark. That is a huge milestone. I am now at $15,008,081. That's a great way to end off the week, if I, if I do say so myself. I am very, very happy with that. This double episode, like this double money episode was a lot better than the last double money episode because that was really bad guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it i hope you all have a great weekend and i will see you back here on monday morning peace out